Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Resident Evil. Now, in the last episode, we did some things and we did some stuff. And more importantly, the stuff and things that we did was stuff. That makes total sense, doesn't it? Please tell me it makes total sense. Now, one of the things I've gone and got is... Lovely creamy milk. <sighs> if I lived in Skyrim, I'd be a filthy milk drinker. And to be honest, I hope that means what I think it means, which is that you just drink milk and it's not some kind of... Synonym, I think. That's the word. It might be the word. Um, unless it's a saying for something else, which I really hope it isn't, because milk is damn tasty. It goes with tea, it goes with coffee, it goes with chocolate, it goes with cookies, it goes with uh, cheese. Cheese and milk is basically the same thing. Like you can eat, your, you can take your glass of milk, have a nice swig of milk, and it has some cheese as well, and it's fantastic. It's lovely. Because, you know, it's like milk that you chew. It literally is. Cheese is just milk that you chew. It's fun for all the family. And it's great. I should come up with slogans for cheese. It's milk that you chew. Mmm. Cheesy. I really want some cheese now. I want some feta or some stilton. Still melted over bacon and brie baguettes. Oh yeah. Yeah, you pump that thing, Chris. Well, that worked. So we didn't really have to deal with wasps. That is brilliant. But yeah, I want some feedback in this video, in the comments, if you are so inclined to do so. Um, leave me... What do you think of a face cam? That's the thing that I'm mainly, you know, wanting to have feedback about. Plus, when I listen to my recordings back, I can hear this absolutely horrible hiss from my microphone, and I don't know if it's only me that can hear it. It might just be me, because I know it's there. But... If it's not just me that can hear it, can somebody let me know, please? Because... Uh, it's bugging me. It's like... I don't know... Oh, oh his face! Oh. 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 That looked like it hurts. Damn. No. Is somebody having a shower? Maybe they've left the um the water running. If so, they're wasting water, naughty zombie. Ah. The roots of some kind, giant gang, yang, yeah, let's start that again. The roots of some kind of giant plant are sticking out of the wall. There we go. What's gonna be in the bathtub? A dagger? Is this a dagger I see before me? Yes, it is. Umbrella brand products. Is this a dagger I see before me? No, it's a nail cleaner. It's great. I like looking after my nails. Is there a zombob in here? No, but there's loads of moss and roots and horrible stuff. Um... A dense thicket of trees. That's a lovely word. Thicket. 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 Oh, there's a nudie lady, and you can see a nipple. Oh dear. Right, I've seen this before. Um. Uh, you go there. You go there. 
you go there. Okay. I didn't bring any weapons with me. Apart from my handgun. Bollocks. Um, right, we're going to have to have a quick trek back to the item room to get some shotgun stuff. Ah. Now, see, my channel is kind of, at the moment, uh, the biggest things on there are... Resident Evil. Resident Evil everywhere. Um, I'm kind of wanting to change that, but there's very few things... Things. No F in things. There's very few things that... I did it again. Very few things uh, out that I actually want to play. Like, they're all... The majority of them are all older games. Like, there's loads of Let's Plays that you're never, ever going to see, which I recorded a long time ago. Um, there was Dino Crisis 2, Cry of Fear, Amnesia. Um, what was that? Dino Crisis 2, Cry of Fear, Amnesia, Afraid of Monsters. Um, oh, Fallout uh, New Vegas was one. You're never going to see those videos. No, nope, never, ever, ever going to see them. Because, well, they were awful. I do have some kind of control in the videos I put out, which is rather surprising, considering the most of the stuff I put out is complete and utter tat. Um, which probably explains my low view count. Um, but I do have some quality control. Like, the stuff I was doing in Dead Rising, I knew I wasn't in the recording mode. I, It was weird. So there's a very specific, you know, mood I've got to be in to feel as if my videos are actually half decent. Which I think these ones are turning out to be alright. They're not too bad. They could be far worse. It could be, you know, MLG Pro every... Excuse me. Um, I could be MLG Proing all over the place. Uh, you know, jumping out of my seat. That's one thing that I, I've been... That's put me off the idea of face cam. Uh, it was, you know, you get horror games. Uh, horror games like this, for example. And, uh, you know, you get your very jump scare based ones. Jump scares are great. I think they're a fantastic way of scaring an audience. But not too much. Which is why, you know, I was originally going to be doing a webcam test. And I was going to play SCP. A uh, containment breach with a webcam. But... I don't want to become the shrieking YouTuber, you know, uh, the type of one where you just jump out of your skin, fly across your room, bash your knee on your desk, knock your web camera over, and uh, make a tit out of yourself in front of 100,000 people, all for YouTube views. I'd rather do, you know, sensible content. Like, there's moments in Evil Within where I shrieked like a little girl. <laughs> No, it's turning into a hentai. Good grief. The door refuses to open. Fuck you, door. Okay, this is a boss I do not like. Now the thing here is to keep moving. Just keep moving. So I think you're meant to make the plant the serum thing that you make in the first game to weaken it a little bit. Oh, shit! Damn! That looked like it hurt! Christ! Really? Oh, it's not dead yet, okay.
I was going to say, if it's really dead now, bloody hell. Okay, those are some good hits. Uh, yeah, I can survive without reloading. Ooh. Yeah, let's get off that orange portion. Okay, that was quite easy. That was actually very easy, much easier than I thought it would be. Surprisingly, surprisingly easy. Okay. Um, now we get a key. Will you take the mansion key? Yes, I will. It's like... <sighs> I want to know why the helmet key was all the way over in this area. Like, it has no use being over here. It should be in the mansion. But it's not. <gasps> oh, you scared me. Oh, so you, you didn't okay? hear me shooting the giant plant? Yeah, it's dead. But... Richard... He's... Gone. <laughs> I'm sorry. So sad. It's my fault. I should have watched out for him. I found a pharmaceutical room. I think I can One thing I do like about useful. this uh, this there. version is uh, you know how we try and I'm glad you're still okay. Give the characters more character beyond just, you know, the cheesy one-liners that they have in the original version. But then again, that was I I've always felt that the voice acting in uh, the first Resident Evil game was deliberately bad. I I feel like it wasn't meant to be taken seriously. It, it felt like a real homage to, you know, 50s B-movies. Hey, Rebecca, do you feel like healing me? This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. Want me to treat your wounds? Oh, yeah. You can treat me, Rebecca. Yeah, would you? Thanks. <sighs> Much better. Oh. oh no! Uh, awkward crying moment. Give her a hug, her Chris. Hug her! Kill a couple of zombies. Grab a shotgun. I've got a spare one if you want it. Grab your shotgun and uh, kill a couple of zombies. It'll make you feel better, Rebecca. It'll make you feel so much better. I'm nearly out of milk. I drink so much milk, I drink far too much milk. It's far too tasty. Right, we got everything from here. Got all the herbs we need, got all the ammo. We should be sorted. This next part of the game. Wesker? <gasps> oh, it's the best person ever! Chris, you're alive. My Wait words a minute. Exactly. Where are my sunglasses? Where's Jill? Thought you were with her. Yeah, I know. We got separated. Am I as cool as Wesker now? Anyway, we better find a way out of here before we turn into zombie food. Got any suggestions, Wesker? We should get a better grip. On the situation. There must be areas still to be. We need to get a grip. The on the situation. Chris, I want you to check them out one more time. I'll continue my investigation here. Sure thing. Okay, silliness over. Silliness over. So basically, Wesker is lovely. He's fantastic. He's got great hair. Um. Oh, there was one item I want to get, which I didn't get before, which is a must-have for, you know, any zombie survival situation. There we go. 
so basically, I press the wrong button, and he's gonna mash circle. See, I think the controls are bodged up, because, um, this is obviously PS4 controller, and it's meant to be using a Xbox controller. So, I'm using the PS4 controller, and all the, you know, the buttons, the face buttons, are, they feel as if they're in the wrong place, like, it feels as if inventory should be square. It feels as if I kind of put one down, so triangles run, or like they're the wrong way around, like inventory should be square, run, inventory should be square, no, what would that be? Run would be X, I, I don't know, I'm, I've just confused myself with the controls even more. There we go. So, yeah, this next part of the game is when the game really heats up. It's going to be there in the wrong place. It's now do or die mode, basically. And I'm going to save again because I probably shouldn't have saved before doing the plant. Thinking about it. Because our favourite, favourite monsters from the first game. Monsters? Monster? Yeah, monsters, plural. There's lots of them. I don't know why that's making a beeping noise, but oh well. It wasn't doing it before for some reason. Oh well. I may not be able to mute my coughs if it does that, because I think that... Uh, doo -doo sound is far more annoying than me coughing. Right, we've got everything from here. I don't want that first aid spray. Plenty of healing items. We've got some first aid sprays in reserve if we run out, but I kind of doubt we will. So now we need to make the journey back. Which is gonna be fun. Okay, so, is it gonna be raining snakes? Nope, this we've got Brad. another cutscene. If you can't answer me, somehow give me a sign. Krista Brad, can you hear me? Brad. Has he grown Damn. stubble? I don't remember him having stubble at the very start of the game. If that's actually a thing, and they put that in deliberately, or it's just me not being observant, if they put it in there. Right on! Yeah! You know, this would be like four or five hours, I suppose. Oh, uh, sleeping doge. Not the video game. Yes, yes. I hate the sound of dogs barking like that. Ugh. I'm just not really a dog person, to be honest. I'm much more of a cat person. I like cats. Oh, now it's raining snakes here. It's a raining <sighs> snake. Oh, don't you dare have poisoned me. Hallelujah. <sighs> You're it's raining snakes. And that's a little callback to uh, Necroscope's playthrough of Resident Evil Director's Cut and Resident Evil 1. You should go check him out. He does videos on ye old YouTube. Although I haven't actually seen him upload anything for quite a while. Which is like, oh. But then again, it's kind of like me. I haven't uploaded anything for a while, but I don't have, you know, nearly 100,000 subscribers. Hello, doggy. Excuse me, doggy. Yes, Woofy. Woofy woo woo. Now we say goodbye to the last of my milk. In Skyrim, we drink ale, not milk. Oh, I missed. Oh, oh, thank you, Wesker. You are a godsend. I'm gonna leave the first aid sprays there because we can come. We come back through here again uh, later on in the game. Spoilerinos, uh, but. It might be handy just to leave them there, just in case we do need them. Plus, I don't want it to take up lots of room in my inventory. Because I want to tear that out. See, right. Here's a problem with game logic. This door is now locked. This door cannot be opened, no matter what you do to it. Go up to it. It's locked. You can't open it. And game logic is just going to take over in a second. Those of you who play the game know exactly what I'm talking about. 
Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to the hunter. Oh. See, game logic, doors locked. <laughs> Who's the hunter now, baby? I remember them being harder. Oh, we don't use the helmet key there, do we? Mystery and intrigue is all about us. So, Wesker's fixed this door, I think. I should have actually read the note. I think he's fixed the door. Oh, there's a hunter in here, isn't there? That fucking sound. I don't want to do this. So never hunt it down. That's good. That's very good. Very, very, very good. Eh. Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm recording this in one sitting because, you know, I am wearing the same shirt. Um, just to let you know, just in case some of you think I have, like, one shirt. Um, we don't need that yet, so that can go back in our item box. Um... I can't think of where we need to use the helmet key. Ah, it's down there in the main room. Uh, we go upstairs, come around there, we've got a room there. Let's go, yeah, let's go to that room. Actually, let's end this part here. So yeah, I think that was a fairly productive, it's, you know, these episodes are, we're getting somewhere. It's good, I'm happy, we are progressing. Using far too many ink ribbons, though. I mean, come on. Nearly 20 saves? Good grief. I suppose I am kind of doing every 20 minutes and saving every 20 minutes. So, uh, that's alright, I suppose. But, yeah. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video thing and stuff. You know, the normal goodbyes. Goodbye. Uh, stop recording! Why haven't you stopped? Stop! It hasn't stopped recording. Um. Okay. Bye bye. I hope it works now. <laughs>